What's happening people? Hope everyone's good. Today we are in a surprisingly sunny Belgium, which is not what the uh, weather forecast said. And we're going to a place called Perry Deza. It's like um, this massive zoo. We're not like completely sure how we feel about zoos, but we do get the chance to see a polar bear and pandas, which I don't ever think gonna see one of them out in the wild so but it, yeah it was it, it was expensive I think it was like 39 euros and 10 euros for parking but you can stay there overnight which is quite a cool thing and yeah we'll uh, we'll take you on the journey see, how it goes. see some pandas and that I wish Google Maps had like a setting to say that we're in a, a big van because it says, oh yeah, we've got a route that'll save you 15 minutes. And we're like, yeah, great. But then it goes and takes you down these tiny little farm roads. We're here. This is where we're parking. Leo's just getting his jacket on. Oh my God, it is so cold. We have so many layers on right now. I'm debating putting more socks on. It's cold, isn't it? I know I said earlier like we're not sure on like zoos and the morality of zoos and stuff I'm telling you now if you're worried about the polar bears not being in the climate they are it's freezing <laughs> they're amazing birds You can't tell me that's not part of dinosaur. Don't spit at me. Seen. Hello. <laughs> I don't speak French. <laughs> She's seen it, me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So calm around people. This zoo was actually voted the best zoo in Europe and it allows you to see 7,000 different animals. And they've kind of designed the zoo to show off five of the different continents out of seven and each animal that comes from that specific area, which is pretty cool because then you've got things like these and they're trying to show like the wonders of the world. Someone thought it was a clever idea bringing a tall man with no balance on one of these. And it was skinnier just now. It was like oh my god! <laughs> the size of like one foot in front of each other. It's not big enough. Yeah, I couldn't. I yeah, I couldn't even film on that. Oh my god, Chris, what have you done to me? It's all like mossy and stuff. It's, it's slippery. Crap. You can. How do you get up there? It's funny because if I jump, 
Do you want to go? I can't. If I jump, it'd be like, wow. I assume you could grab it. Oh, now there's kids behind us. <laughs> Quick, hurry up. These idiots are going to start jumping now. I have no idea what we're supposed to be seeing from here, but it looks cool. Ready? Go. Are you ready? Yeah, not really, but yeah, I haven't got a choice at this point, have I? Oh my god. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my <laughs> Jesus. Are you okay? Yeah. I no, I want to get off. <laughs> I know, and he keeps going. Oh my god. <laughs> is this for adults? Because I don't feel like it is. Right, hurry up. <laughs> this isn't a comedy curse. The video's not even on me, it's just on my chest. No, <laughs> just get me off. We're going to be the other side of the park by the time we get off this. Are you joking? <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean? <gasps> oh my god, there's a staircase down. What do you guys think I'm going to choose? Do you think I'm going to choose the staircase? <laughs> lovely. Well, not, not, not that lovely, but you know. Standard little staircase. Oh, after doing this. I can see the or am I going to go like for this? Working. Yeah, but it's not just that. It's like at the end, you've got to pull yourself down. So we've just had food, nice and full, I feel a bit sick. It was actually pretty cheap, we paid 15 euros and we had a cheeseburger each, fries and two pots of sauce. But it's not bad for a place like this. It's kind of like, I don't know if anyone goes to like football games, but it was kind of like stadium food. That's the best way I can describe it. I thought it was nice. So the food was reasonably priced, but the drinks were ridiculous. It was like four euros for a Coke but we brought our own drinks and I was really, really chuffed about that. But yeah, it was like 3.50 for a cheeseburger, euros. What was it, 3.50 for three for fries? But it was a lot of fries. So yeah, 6.50 each, not bad. Plus the pounds for the sauce. That is one happy fish. Put that floor there. <laughs> I think these are cool animals, but I can't look at them the same after Steve Irwin. <laughs> yeah, the one that killed him was probably massive. He's probably trying to fight there. Where are we going here? Oh yeah, this is quality video, this is. <laughs> what is that thing? Ew, he done a doo-doo. What is that? A doo-doo. <laughs> no flash photography. Upside down jellyfish. Juveniles reproduced with their anorthilus. Anorthilus. Ah, there we are then.
when I see these fish tanks and they're like dark, I always think of like some like underground like Berlin rave <laughs> of fishes. <laughs> 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 Shouldn't you be teaching SpongeBob to drive? <laughs> Just on our way up to the diving board. So these are why you have to wear sea shoes because when you go to places like Mauritius and Dubai and stuff this is like what they warn you of because if you stand on it it can like you can lose your foot that's what bad that is he's well camouflaged This one looks like a cauliflower. This makes me feel like I wanna like go down them sideways, but <laughs> So we've just done the aquarium bit. We've literally not even finished the first part of the park and I think, what's the time? Has it gone 12? We got till six, so we should be all right, but like 12. Yeah. One? 20 to one. Yeah. So yeah, we've literally done one part of the park so far. Not one yet, we haven't finished well, the Well yeah, we haven't even finished the one. Oh. This is a big place. For six euros, you can feed the fish. This is why I was saying where we don't really know how we feel about zoos, because these guys look distressed. But I don't know how they normally act, so... I don't know, he was like circling them, he's not, he's like pacing. I mean, well, he's, is he taking a poop? <laughs> I don't know if he was, are they doing what dogs Makes do. sense. Yep, no, nope, that's a poop. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's struggling. Oh, poor thing, he's not filming. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's letting himself in for. That is one big bird cage. Is there any birds in there? They've all escaped. Crocky mate! Look at him move! <laughs> I know, I just seen that. <laughs> I know cats don't like water, but you know, if you really want it out. Do you want to come into my tree house? These look like the IKEA door stops <laughs> we've got. Cobwebs. Well, I had. I had when we had a house. <laughs> Cobby webs. If you're gonna ask what's in here, and I'm gonna tell you again, it's the same enclosure. It's just massive. Oh my god, these big giant guinea pigs over here that we're gonna see in a minute. Lou pointed to earlier from the hill. 
and said, look at the lions. <laughs> to be fair, right? I've never been out in the wild, so I'm not supposed to look from distance. And that was a human. That was a human. That was a really good impression. Pandas? More pandas? Oh, the pandas are onto the waterfall, Lou. Where are they at? Apparently this is how you call every single animal, unless it's a dog. It's something just gripped in my I have no idea what you are, but you are cute. move. <laughs> I thought that was a normal one. <laughs> You're gonna have PTSD on every bridge you try after this. Oh, oh I'm dying to go on there and just shake it. Survived. I'm saying that's still going. I feel like they're taking the mech a bit now. We've been following signs for pandas for about 15 minutes. It's making you walk all the rest of the zoo. <laughs> yeah, we've already seen pandas, but they they promise him more. Yeah, but they also had a picture of like baby pandas. Baby pandas. Yeah. Oh my days. <laughs> I don't that wouldn't be pandas, surely. Because they don't climb, I don't think. They're just lazy. I can't imagine pandas using that. Unless it's just well, for show. They've given us like a million times. But it should be a... Said, panda cave. Yeah, but that looks like a cave. Maybe, man, yeah, maybe they come out sometimes. How big these cameras are? They've got webcams, not they? <gasps> oh my god, do you reckon that's them? For anyone who's never seen them, you can go on YouTube and watch like animals live. There's a train or something coming behind us. Oh my god, there's like a train. Lou. I can see like smoke. Oh, I don't know if you can see on the camera. It's like a thing. Nah, you can't see that. I don't know if I, is that part of here? If that's part of here, we'll find it. Why didn't you say anything? <gasps> oh my god, here they are. Oh, he looks comfy, surrounded by food. So all my ps ps sim worked, but what did we do? The one time Lou gets his phone out to do a story, literally the panda was right for there and then he like gets up and starts running, but I for some reason decided to video on my big camera, but it's in like real size, so I'm going to insert that like somewhere for here. And then we'll make so it. right now you'll be watching how cute this little panda is and then he just run 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 run. Yeah. It should be a good quality though, maybe, because Camera. let's hope, let's hope. I never film on this, so I just wanted to see what it was like. Hopefully it won't be too shaky and that you'll actually be able to see what it's trying to do. <laughs> when we first seen the hippo enclosure, the hippo was kind of chilling, like in the main part of the video over here. But we came back around about five minutes later and then he was swimming underneath and looks all cute. But again, I filmed it in real size. I'm sorry. These lemurs are Lou's favourite animals, so we stayed be here for a little while and they could walk around the enclosure, so you were kind of in with them and they could walk all around on these ropes. 
So we massively underestimated the size and the amount of cool things that this park has got. So this camera is running out of battery rapidly. <laughs> And um, yeah, Kirsten's got a big camera which has got a way better battery, so we might do some videos on there. Might be a bit shaky, we'll bring a power bank next Sorry time. Sorry if it is. <laughs> <laughs> if it is, it's me. I've got Will shakiest hands, like, don't ever have me do anything when he's a steady hand, it's not, not good. So you don't want to ever be operated on by Kirsten? I know you can hear me, he's just ignoring me. Puss, puss, puss. So as some of you may know, I'm not really a big fan of physical activity, but I'm about to tackle these steps. I'm gonna take you with me. I just saw it twice. <sighs> you haven't finished, Lou. There's more here. Do it, do it, do it. It's windy, but yeah. See so everything from up here. Proper bands. <laughs> <laughs> from over there, I think. He said, I don't know if I want to go nowhere. <laughs> nice day, isn't he? I don't know if you can see, just going behind that rock, there's a polar bear and there's also one in the water down here and they do this crazy thing here where you can literally sleep in these apartments and you can, well, just watch the polar bears from your, from your little apartment How cool is that? Polar bear is one of the largest land carnivores. A large male can become two to three meters long and weigh up to 800 kilograms. The females are typically smaller. 
There are actually four polar bears at this zoo, but we only seen two of them. We're not really sure which ones we've seen, but there are two females and two males here. So I just showed you the polar bears and where you can stay and if you look in the background by here you can stay in them like chalet looking thing and lots of tigers. This area is an identical reconstruction of a train workshop from the 1920s. It's a large collection of steam locomotives, freight carriages, diesel locomotives. It's meant to be the living collection of the Peary Daiser Foundation. The zoo are actually trying to expand this collection. They want to protect the historic and industrial heritage. The workshop is fully operational and staff at the zoo had actually made restorations in this workshop. You can stay in these lodges too and it's just like surrounded by deer which is just really beautiful. I really love brown bears and in this enclosure it's the same as before where you can basically stay in little huts around the area. So you can stay and watch the brown bears just walking past and eating and just living. Basically I want to do that in the future. <laughs> I am so sorry about how shaky some of this is as well. We definitely need to get a gimbal for my camera but they're just so expensive so we're kind of saving for that at the minute. Why do their legs look so strange? <laughs> we lasted all the way until closing time, but we were absolutely soaked through by this point. I don't know if you can tell from this video just how wet it was that day. There were a couple of dry spells, but we were just soaking. This is just a nice little gift shop on your way out. I say little, it was actually quite big for what it is. We didn't really need anything, obviously living in a van, it's a very small space, so we don't really have space for a lot of little trinkets like this but it's really cute and there was a lot of options for things for gifts. Well, what a day. It was uh, a really fun time in the, in the zoo and now we've got back to the van, we've had some food and I think we're just gonna sleep for like, what do you reckon, 12 plus hours? And we got snacks first though. Yeah, we're trying bolognese flavored snacks crisps. Yeah, just watching Night at the Museum. But yeah, if anyone's around this area in Belgium, definitely come and give this a go because it's uh, it's good fun. And you do think the price is steep at first, but there's so much there. Like we could go again tomorrow, and we'd probably still be discovering stuff, wouldn't we? Yeah. Plus, so. like the parking was 10 euros but you're allowed to camp here overnight so you could either have come here last night and then gone in today or gone in today and then camped here tonight and i think we picked the best one which was gone in today and camped here tonight because everything ate so much that i'm just so glad to just get into bed and not have to drive yeah so. yeah it is it is nice just to get in here and not have the stress of finding a park up there's like no services though it's just a car park yeah it's it's a car park with like two wheelie bins but it's oh it's got bins that's always a good thing it's got bins yeah it's secure it's nice so yeah
we haven't got electric hook up and the solar's been pretty rubbish. So we just had the hobs on to heat up the van. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. It's boiling in there. So, so yeah, I think this is going to be a whole video on its own and we're going to leave it here. So as usual, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Help us keep <laughs> making this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Help. Help the algorithm. But yeah, thanks for watching. Why am I still here? I've already said bye. Well, I thought you could have a little bit of bonus content. We're gonna try these bolognese flavor crisps and Just give you them. give you the verdict. Just open them in preparation. So these. What's it called? And try one at the same time. Pure after. Oh, it's. Should do a crisp tears. <laughs> they taste like steak McCoys. I like them. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's just steak McCoys. Nah. If anyone's tried it's these, more than steak I don't think it's bolognese at all, in, in my opinion. Mmm, they're moreish. Mm. These are from Lidl's, Aldi. Yeah. Lidl's? Aldi. Aldi's. Aldi's in Belgium. If anyone's tried these, what do you think they taste like? Because obviously I'm saying steak McCoy's because I'm saying bolognese. I don't know, I'm not getting that, I'm just getting a statement. I get why it's called Bolognese. Right, well anyway, that's it now. That's <laughs> definitely, bye, get out.